Hey guys, what's up? Brian Savage here with you. And I'm uh, going to do a little quick video today on um, something and uh, what it is. It's uh, something I've had quite a while. You guys might be familiar with this. This is the Phoenix Arms. This is the HP22A uh, Deluxe Range Kit. Uh, there's all kinds of pieces and stuff in here, but you get uh, some cleaning solution, a brush, uh, a patch tool, little cleaning rod. You get two magazines. You get the I think it's a five inch barrel and a three and a half inch barrel. This is the nickel finish. The magazines come. It comes with one magazine with the um, extender on it and one magazine that did not have the extender on it. Um, I don't know if it's still that way. The reason I'm doing a video on this today is actually about uh, not the firearm itself. Uh, it's not a video about firearms. This is a video about customer service. And I always like to give shout outs to people that do things right. And I gotta say Phoenix, if you actually watch this thing or ever do get to see it, good job. Um, I, for my birthday, my wife got um, some range time for me and several of my friends to go to the range for a while, and uh, that's a good birthday present. I love my wife. But um, anyway, we shot this particular firearm amongst many others that we had with us that day, and uh, uh, I hadn't cleaned it. And today I was watching television, watching. Uh, some stuff about firearms on television oddly enough just flipping through channels and it they were talking about uh post-world war ii firearms and cleaning them and this and that and it reminded me that i hadn't cleaned this one since we took it to the range and and uh, i'm real particular about that uh, i brought it home it's in the locked box and then i put it in a, in a locked gun safe so uh they hadn't shot it and hadn't thought about it but I did today and I thought I'd clean it and when I went to do so the slide would not pick up a round and it would it just jammed and I had to actually reach in and push the round down to get the slide forward to get the mag out to disassemble it and what I found was and you probably won't be able to make it out but this piece right here, this is the back of the breech. This is where the back of the cartridge sets and where the firing pin goes through. I guess you'd call it a breech block, if you will. Um, right where the firing pin goes through it, and I'm sure it won't come out. Won't zoom in enough. But yeah, kind of, you kind of can. You see the square hole that's right there? That little square hole, that's where the firing pin goes through. It is actually cracked on either side, and this entire breech block is loose. If I wanted to, I could probably get it out of there, but I'm not going to try to. Um, so I discovered that, and I've had this quite a while and shot a lot of rounds through it and thought, well, you know, things do break. You know, they don't last forever. So I went on uh, Phoenix's website <clears throat> looking for parts. Uh, which was really easy and it was easy to navigate, looked to be a good website, but it did not have that particular part. Did not have these breech blocks in here. I had extractors, the roll pins, the safeties, the, the um, transfer bars, the whole firing prints, the whole kit caboodle, anything in this re slide I, I could buy and a lot in the uh, receiver, barrels, magazines, the range kit box, the whole thing. They got all kinds of t-shirts, whatever. Uh, but that piece they didn't have. So uh, what they did have was a phone number, and I called them. And the nice lady in customer service, uh, I explained to her what was going on, and I was looking for that part. She asked me for my serial number, which I gave her. She looked it up on her computer and told me the grandest news. She asked me how long I'd had this. And I don't know if that actually matters, but she did ask me how long I'd had it. And I've had this over 10 years. I've shot thousands and thousands of rounds through this firearm in both the small, or both the three and a half and the uh, five inch barrel with both magazines. Um, I've owned more than one of these and I've gotten rid of them. This is the only one I kept because when I did get it, uh, it didn't malfunction. And every other Phoenix that I've ever had, 
uh, was kind of finicky about the ammo it would take or was real real rough in the slide and for whatever reason this one particular one it just I, I guess it was a Wednesday gun I guess you could say they built it on Wednesday because they took their time and they did it right and uh, I, I I've rarely had a malfunction out of this and when I have had a malfunction I'll readily admit it was because of my lack of, of cleaning it um, you know, 22 ammo is inherently dirty and nothing works when it's all gummed up. So uh, anytime it's been a clean gun, I didn't care the quality or the velocity or the grain of the ammo. It's cycled just fine and dandy. Uh, so anyway, she uh, asked me how long I had it. I told her the truth. I told her I'd had it well over 10 years. I told her the state and city I bought it in even uh, all those years ago. And... Um, she was talking to me and then she says, I, I, what I assume is the time it took for the serial number search to come up. She says, you're in luck. That firearm is, uh, has a warranty. It's covered that part and that is covered under warranty. Uh, it gave me some information. I put it in an envelope. I sent it back to him. And she said that they're either going to fix it or replace this slide, which I guess I'm a little apprehensive about because of what I just said about this one being the one that I've had no problems with. But honestly, most of the time that I've seen problems with them jamming, the problem is in the feed ramp. That ramp right there, for whatever reason, when they manufacture them, a lot of times they have little manufacturing burrs right where this ramp meets the, the, the barrel. And it's actually supposed to ramp with it and it seems like they have just a little bit of a catch and if you file that down if you know what you're doing you file that down even the ones that jam every round that'll fix them every time but this one never had to have that problem so i'm a little apprehensive about if i get a new slide how well is it going to function with my lower but i got to take the chance because i can't get that part um but again this is a good thing about their standing behind it they're saying they're going to fix it or replace the slide. Uh, the serial number's in the lower, so they could just send me a new one of these complete, and that would be fine. Um, who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> but I will do a follow-up video and let you all know. That's where we are going to find out. I haven't done any research on YouTube. I don't know if this is a problem or if this is a thing or... Uh, anything else about it? I, I, I haven't done any research on this firearm. When I bought this firearm, people didn't YouTube. Uh, you, you just didn't. That was pre-MySpace kind of stuff, I think, when I bought this thing. Like I said, it's been well over 10 years ago I bought it. So, um, uh, the only other problem I've ever seen with one of them, and I'll show it to you, and I'm actually going to send this back with the, the slide and just see what happens. Uh, this is a magazine. This is the base plate. This is one of the larger extended base plates, magazine spring. Um, this is just uh, kind of crimped around. This, this, this stamp steel piece is just kind of crimped around this base. And this base has some weight to it. It's to help give the gun, I believe, some weight. Give the firearm some weight. Um, but... And it feels a lot better with it. In fact, the other magazine that I had that did not come with one, I traded to somebody who wanted the non -ex They bought just the pistol uh, with a three-inch barrel and it had this piece on the mag, and they wanted the one that did not have it. So I traded them mine that did not have it for this one that did have it because I've got a large hand. I like the extra purchase. Um, so that's how I ended up with two of these. And one day I was shooting and uh, the bottom of this thing popped off. And once that happens, forget about it. You ain't getting it back on. At least not where it's going to stay. If you can, you're a better man than me. I could not. So I'm going to send this back with, him too, with the slide and just see what happens. So anyway, guys, I've said so, so many times in this video. Bad habits, right? Um, please like, please subscribe. If you have any experience with these and or with Phoenix itself and know what I'm about to endure, 
leave a comment below and let me know.